take time to get you caught up to speed here on what's happening in Japan. And first, let's go to some video because we are now 11 days removed from the earthquake. And really, what can you say about this? This is the scene in one of these towns right along the uh, northeast coast where first the earth shook and then the ocean rushed in, the tsunami. 11 days later, more than 13,000 people are still counted as missing. Today, the official death toll crossed 9,000. And now I want to move on to the other part of the story. This is a, a picture I know you are familiar with by now. Steam, you see it, rising again today from the stricken nuclear plant. In fact, what you're seeing right there, this is unit number four. So steam and smoke yesterday, we spoke about that. Now steam again today. Also today, a Japanese official said units one and two are damaged worse than suspected, and that includes potential damage to the unit's nuclear cores. They then sprayed water again today at reactor number two, reactor number three, and reactor number four. So once again, the thing they want to try to prevent here is the potential melting of some of the unit's nuclear fuel. That includes the fuel contained in those spent fuel rods. They had been housed in sort of the, the roof areas of some of these different reactor buildings. Um, today, they did get power restored to part of unit three here, but not to the crucial cooling system. We're staying on the story. We'll be watching it for you. Coming up next here,